Hi everyone, so we have just beat Crystal Palace 1-0. Did we deserve that really? No, but who cares? We've had, we've had games like that before where we haven't taken points. And Palace will probably say they deserved at least a point a day. Yeah. Um, but it just takes one moment and we've, we've got that moment a day. Um, and that's going to make a difference towards the end of the season. Yeah. So I'll take today. I'll happily take a 1-0 win like this every week. So I'm happy. Is it better that we have Moreno now? Because every goal that he scores, every good performance he puts in, that price tag will probably go up for him. Although a deal was agreed that can always change that. How important has he been? I think he's been really important. I think he's been better than I think a lot of people have thought. I've just been to play, um, off camera and I think we should play Marina more at home than away from home. Maybe play Hayden uh, away from home because he's a bit more defensive. But I think him and Shelby work well together. Um, but I I'm happy with the options we've got. The options we've got in midfield are, um, are really strong in the minute and that only helps helps us going forward. I think Rafa's got a lot of uh, big headaches, but he's getting paid yeah. five, six million a year, so I'm glad he's making them and not me. <laughs> um, now, going forward, Dwight Gill apparently injured. We don't know how long that's going to be for. Hosselu, the service wasn't great at him today, to be fair, but who would you start next game? Yeah, I think he'll still start Hosselu. I'll probably still start Hosselu. Um, but it, it doesn't matter as long as we can kind of, if, if they do the same job, yeah. then I'm not really bothered who starts because Hosselu at the minute, he's getting, he still gets, I think it was this first game of day where he didn't really have a chance on goal. Yeah. Mirovic is a fan favourite, but mm -hmm. he can lose his head. Yeah. I think that's why Hosselu starts at the minute because Mirovic has always got that capability of getting, send, uh, getting a send, uh, red card or a yellow card. So at the minute, I'll still stick with Hosselu for a couple more games. Speaking of red cards, I saw that challenge was absolutely awful. Did you say it? What did you think of it? Uh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the pitch, but it looked it looked horrible. I was, it that's looked it, that's absolutely horrible. It was awful. It, like, look, I think he's never going to send him off. I think I think he was the same referee in the Stoke yeah. game, and he was always a, he was a bit he was a bit uh, suspect yeah. then. But look, I'm going to scream for it, but. Uh -huh. I, until you see it again, uh -huh. it's difficult. But that's the thing, if you look at the reaction from our players from that, if you did have Mitrovic on, there could have been chaos there. Yeah. And that's the thing that I'm worried about Mitrovic, because I would like to play him, but in the Premier League you're going to have more of those that are going to bite, yeah. and then going to know that and get to him, so that's my thing with Mitrovic. Yeah, and I, I think that's why he's not starting with them. I think, if you know, Scott Dan. You know, he'll just he would just wind him up all game. He would go, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make your life hell. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to talk to you throughout the whole game until you actually, you know, you crack. And, and that'll probably why with Hostler, he probably doesn't even speak the language. To be yeah. honest with you, so you could say anything to him. He probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't have a clue. So look, it, it, for me, it, I don't think it really matters at the minute who starts up front. I think Hostler will still get the nod. But look, we're getting we're getting points on the board. Mm -hmm. I think we're sitting, sitting something like sixth or seventh in the league. Just keep the, let's just keep the yeah. run going. Keep the run going. Let's see where it, let's see where it takes us. We've got two winnable games: Burnley away, Bournemouth at home. Um, but I'm, you know, very optimistic about what's happening. The one thing that we made today was defensively we gave the likes of Townsend, Loftus Cheek a lot of time, and I think that's what you can't do against PS players because that's where you will get punished. And you know, Ruben Loftus Cheek's cross, that could, that was like that's it. That's one nil, a game over. Would you stick with the defenders that we've got? I was a bit surprised he uh, played Lejeune last week against yeah. Southampton. Um, I think he had a decent game. Though. To be fair, apart from that, the, 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 mistake, the penalty, the last two games I think he's been alright. I don't mm -hmm. think he's really put much of a foot wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but when you said about Zaha and Townsend and Loftus-Cheek, they, they might have had a lot of possession, mm -hmm. but did Rob Elliott make a save? Yeah. He, I, I, I can't remember him making a save. I think we dealt very well with Zaha. I yeah. was surprised that the likes of Lascelles could keep up with his pace because every time he got the ball there was somebody there and there was somebody else so they seen that and targeted him I think we did well that. I think they, they miss Ben Take so much yes. they really do because Zaha was playing up front it was seen like Townsend Zaha was like switching who's got right I'll play up front no you play up front mm -hmm. and they were trying to link well um, but when they've got Ben Tech on the same page they'll do like a threat going forwards yes. like I think Palace look they, they, they could go down but they have got some talent there so if they can Keep with what they've got, with along with Roy Hodgson, then it'll be close. But I probably still think they're going to go down. In terms of us, um, I'm just, I'm just happy. Get one over, get one over on Townsend, get one over on Kabai, get one over on Crystal Palace in general. I've been yeah. to me heading for the last two years. So <laughs> Alan Pardew as well. The list goes on. So I'm buzzing with that. As difficult as it may be, man of the match. 
would have come from our team. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, look, I think there's a couple of players that played alright. I thought the defence generally played okay. I thought Yedlin played really well. I thought the cells was strong, the gym was strong. I think I think I would say maybe the cells, but Marino will get the headlines. He only, yeah. he only played 25 minutes, so I think it's a, sometimes uh, it's difficult to give man of the match to a player that's only played 25 minutes. But look, the cells, I think, will have a, a big mention as well when you look back at the game. But look, it's looking really good now for us on the pitch, off the pitch as well. So uh, we'll see the next few weeks bring to Newcastle because it could be could be quite exciting. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon.